This is the Packham District, a $1 billion master plan community that's taking existing infrastructure near downtown Orlando and turning it new with lots of projects over a 15 year span. Let's take a look. Let's first start off with the pavilion. This is a $1.5 million gift from Dr. Phillips to the city because this is gonna be a center point of what the packing district is. They're gonna be hosts of farmers markets, uh, exercise activities, congregation for families, and a lot more like concerts and stuff like that. And it's within the community of the bricks, which I am telling everyone about. This place is gonna be a huge investment for all of you that are gonna be looking towards the packing district for the long term. If you like the information that I provide, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification. That way you're informed on everything that I'm doing when I'm putting videos out on all the newest information of downtown and surrounding areas. Let's get back to the video. Behind me, we have the bricks. These are three-story townhomes that have the optional terrace. They range from two to four bedrooms, and they offer anywhere from 1,400 to 2,100 square feet. And the biggest thing here I wanna say is that this is a community that is planned within the master community plan. Um, that means that it supports most of the growth and is bringing in most of the population density for people to own within this long-term project. Now I have a video and I'm gonna leave a link up here to that video. It's a full walkthrough of one of the units inside. It's a three bedroom. You'll see most of the finishes. You'll see that it's still under construction right now. Um, most of these homes right here are already sold, but there are a couple, there are about seven that are available for quick move-ins coming in the next couple months. Now, the biggest thing here I wanna say is that this is a long-term investment. This is something that you should be considering if you're looking to be uh, building roots here in Orlando, Florida. This is a new community. This is something that's gonna be thriving within the next five to 10 years. So it's something that you should be looking forward to. Behind me, we have the city's newest tennis center. This one's gonna be replacing the one that's currently in Paramore for Creative Village's newest developments. And we'll cover that in another video. But the biggest thing here is that all that traffic is gonna be moving into this area, the packing district, and it's gonna be bigger. It's 101 parking spaces. There are six hard mats and there are 11 hard clay mats for all you tennis players. And the biggest thing here, which we're gonna be covering next is the YMCA. It's class A luxury YMCA opening up at the same time that everything else is opening up in this community. So if you're interested in this community, make sure that you contact me down below. I can give you more information about it, but we're gonna be covering more stuff right now. So behind me, we have the YMCA, and I think this is gonna be the pinnacle here. This is gonna be integrating and, and bringing the community together here uh, with the state of the art, 24,000, just over 24,000 square foot uh, modern YMCA. Look at the size of that atrium, it's 45 feet. You have indoor and outdoor activities. And this is just amazing because you you're just adjacent to College Park. You're, you're gonna be right below the new Rose Arts District that's gonna be covering over a $3 billion uh, uh, remodel, rejuvenation of the area. You're, you're, you have a lot of gentrification happening towards Pine Hills to make it more safe. Um, and that's the biggest thing here is, is when you're looking for a community, you're looking for safety, you're looking for community, you're looking for something that is gonna be providing value in the long term so that you can grow roots here, have your family here, and know that where you live is where you wanna be, right? So that's the YMCA, I can't go in just yet. Um, it's still closed, but it will be opening up within the next couple months. So stay tuned on that. 